population here is pretty impressive. Not the people, but the vending machines. They're everywhere. When you come to Japan, you could swear you could always see one, no matter where you are, even if it's in the distance. So, let's take a look at 50 different vending machines, starting right now. Welcome back. Let's take a look. Historically, what's made vending machines so significant in Japan? Follow me. Alright, so in 2008 there were over 5 million vending machines here in Japan. Now I know what you're thinking, there's probably more in other countries, that is true. America has way more vending machines, but Japan, while well known for their vending machines, because they're so visible, they're everywhere, and they're out in the open. That's one difference about Japan. So other countries have to worry about petty crime, vandalism. Japan has notoriously low rates of petty crime and vandalism. They can put their vending machines in locations that no other country can and expose them to different elements because of Japan's generally mild winter. 100 yen coins in Japan became extremely important. They were introduced in 1967 and they gave rise to the vending machine industry because originally there were probably under about 5 million coins in circulation, 100 yen coins that is. After a few years, that number rose to over 1.8 billion 100 yen coins in circulation. This helped push the popularity of those vending machines because people just had more 100 yen coins on them at all times. 100 yen coins are easy to hold, easy to spend, and very convenient. All right, there's many different kinds of vending machines here in Japan. Obviously, you've heard of the drink vending machines, soda pop, coffee, energy drinks, that kind of thing. Super easy to find, those are everywhere. What's most popular from those? Probably coffee or tea. Tea, not for me, obviously. I'm not a huge fan of coffee or tea. I drink it once in a while. Japanese people love their tea, love their coffee, and if you get it from a vending machine, the quality, usually pretty good. Some of the best known brands come out of the vending machine. So, next, you find your food vending machines. Number three, food vending machines, also very popular. But number four, still just as popular as the rest, is cigarette vending machines. Cigarette vending machines were actually some of the first to come up in Japan and are still very popular. There's a very high percentage of people in Japan that smoke. If you're a smoker, you can get cigarettes anywhere, but this led to some criticism. So people criticized the ability to get the cigarettes. Kids, any age, used to be able to walk up to vending machines. The government has had some regulations put in because of this, so now maybe you need a card or some kind of ID, you'll scan it to the vending machine and then it'll sell you cigarettes. But in general, being able to get cigarettes on the street it's gonna be pretty easy for people, especially kids with nothing better to do, to be able to get those cigarettes. Some lesser known vending machines in Japan are comedy vending machines, banking vending machines. Also, you can get some different kinds of food and drinks. Ice cream vending machines are one, and different types of hot food. You can play a lottery on some vending machines here in Japan. You insert your coins and it'll do a lottery thing and it'll expend a drink based on a random choice. You don't see these too often. There are also some sort of unmentionable vending machines that are lurking around the streets of Japan. Those I won't get into too much because the existence of them is questionable and many people wonder of the authenticity of the things they provide. So generally, stay away from those. You won't see them very often. So we've come to the end of the video of the first of five parts. These are some of the things that I noticed about coming to Japan and I find pretty interesting. The other four videos, they're coming soon and they'll cover more parts of the culture. First one, vending machines, I think is pretty important and something that most people definitely pick up upon immediately coming here. The next four, they're a mystery. So check them out when they're released. Humans Wonder YouTube. Thanks for watching.